This is the future. future morning guys and welcome back to my channel and uh, I think it's probably time to put up a little bit more of a serious video not just the Minecraft things so today I'm going to show you how to replace the front wheel discs I don't think I've made a video like that before but uh, we'll, I'll show you also why I need to replace them and we're going to replace the rear brakes now i know i've done a video before on the rear brakes so i'm not going to show you again how to replace the rear brakes but we're going to see what the conditions are of the linings because i do think they are totally completely done so uh, let's get going before we get to the video here is a short disclaimer for you guys please take note all repairs and reviews are done by myself for myself and on my own products and property I fix problems as I find them and I do a first impression review on products that I buy. So if you have a question for me on a product or you have a complaint about a product, I apologize if I cannot give you a proper answer. Remember if a product is faulty, please take it back to where you bought it and if there's any other problem that I have never encountered before, I will try and find the answer for you. Anyway, let's get to the video. So before we start, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. Okay before we start I am going to first jack up the front wheels both of them off the ground so that we can turn the steering wheel when we need to turn the steering wheel and we're going to loosen the tires and remove the tires. That'll be our first job. Uh, this is the new, the new boy in the house. He's a rescue puppy, and he is extremely, extremely cute and very, very active. Yeah. You guys see this groove? Look at this groove. There's a deeper groove on the inside. Yes. Look at that. The groove. Okay, this will be the biggest problem that you will get when replacing this disc are these stupid freaking screws that um, holds the disc in place and they are really really stuck so I'm going to use some uh, Q20 spray it there and see if we can get this screw out okay I got this one out much easier and this one doesn't look so bad this almost looks like a new one but unfortunately, the remember, remember the rule, whatever you do on the left, you have to do on the right. So if I replace the right, I have to replace the left. I will, I think, put this one away for a spare or a backup. Um, so I'm going to put this one, but I'm going to throw the other one out. This one is still very good. There we go. Oil and a little shock therapy does a lot. And there we go it's off so once it's loose you just pull it off by hand if it's a bit stuck put a little bit of oil there and some shock therapy on the side turning the disc and it will come off now let's quickly look at the, the differences here this is the left hand side as you guys can see it's not bad it's actually not got such a deep groove and the inside is looking good so this is going to be my spare this one I ever look there the whole inside is eaten out and uh, I just didn't feel comfortable with this one look at this this ridge on the side it's got an extremely deep ridge in here as well as in here which means the brakes aren't breaking evenly and look at the pit marks we even have pit marks here so it's definitely time for a change and like I said what you have to do on the left you have to do on the right so that's where we are going to change the two new discs 
Doesn't new stuff always just look so flippin' awesome? Huh? You can clearly see the difference between the worn one and one that hasn't worn yet. With the thickness. Let's see if I can do this. Compared to this. There's a definite difference between the thickness. This one is thicker than this one. But yeah, that's rich and then no rich. Okay, let's put it on. Again, to put it on, just gonna slide it on. You should just go like this and just put it on. Just like that guys, line up your screw hole and look there, it just slides on, okay. Now if you guys wanted to know why the brake shoes are eating more on the, on the inside than the outside, the guy at Midas told me that this sliding pins that's here sometimes gets dirty and it doesn't slide as properly as it should and then I think it bites in more into the disc or something like that but anyway he told me to take some carb cleaner and clean the these uh, sliding pins a bit so let's do that I definitely clearly felt the difference the other side slided smoothly this one I had to use some real force to get it to move so all the dirt and crap that goes in here prevents the caliper from performing its job uh, like it should and then it bites into the disc more on the inside. As you guys have seen the other one doesn't even have any ridge on the inside which is how it's supposed to be. So this was our cause of our problem. Just another tip to remember is when you put the caliper on, before you put it on, remember to push your piston all the way back. In other words, open up your caliper maximum. Otherwise you might have a problem getting it over the new, much thicker disc. That's it guys. And after I cleaned it with the, with the car cleaner, it actually moves without any effort. So hopefully that will solve our little problem. So let's put the wheels back and then we go to the back. Okay, rear brakes. Remember to firstly Put some stop blocks or bricks in my case then loosen the bolts on the wheel then put your car in first gear and drop the handbrake your handbrake must be down otherwise you're not gonna get the drum off this is one of the irritations of removing the rear brakes is you have to remove the freaking bearing and uh, not that holds the bearing to get the hub loose as you guys can see the shoe is almost done it's very thin especially here at the bottom compared to the thickness of a new shoe um, so yeah we're gonna change it anyway we open it up now so let's just change it changing rear brakes is a pain in the ass I really hate doing this but you have to remove this spring Remove that spring, remove that spring, take out the, um, what you're gonna call that, retainer springs, and this whole assembly comes off. Putting it back is a real pain in the ass because you have to put the adjuster in totally number one, get the springs hooked back number two, which is really sometimes very tough, and then you have to adjust your handbrake as you guys can see this thing already came out so this thing is capable of adjusting itself without any problems it's not supposed to be like that I'm probably gonna have to buy a new spring system eventually one of these days you guys are not gonna believe this but they gave me the wrong brake shoes again the brake shoes that they gave me is much um, thinner than the ones that should be in here I'll attach a photo so I am putting the hub back and then I'm just going to give you the final tip for the day. Do not talk this nut. Do not tie it down because then you're going to do the same mistake I did last time 
and you're going to seize up this hub and trust me it's not going to go fast it's going to go maybe two or three kilometers it's going to seize up and you're going to buy a whole new assembly i can show you what happened last time just check this video out that's what happened so remember when you want to tie this down to seat the bearing make it nice and tight 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 and then release the nut a quarter turn and then uh, until your split pin hole lines up and that's it you don't tie down you turn it a quarter turn back okay thanks dudes so that's the need for this day's video uh, there's nothing else I can do until I get the new brake shoes and I'm not gonna strip it today so if you like this video give me a thumbs up remember to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell so you can get notified of my further or newest upload and until next time guys whatever you do keep it safe cheers